Hello there fellow embassies, I am Carbon Scythe and today we're gonna wreck some shit. We are right now going to meet Cassandra for the first time in a long time and we are telling her who's boss and she, we are going to deny every advance that she has regard whether they are uh, intimate or uh, professional. That's Those are good words. Yeah. And next week we are starting a company uh, right after she has told the military people that uh, uh, they, we are not going to do anything uh, regarding uh, not uh, that we are not going to start business. So it's going to be a lot of fun seeing all of her contacts just uh, getting rid of her, honestly. And on top of that, Kindra has booked Lexi Diamante to play at the Ink House, the House of Inks Halloween party. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I wonder what they're, what music they're gonna play there. Uh, is it gonna be any of the songs that were in Leap of Faith? Yeah, but it would be kind of fun. But yeah, that is not what's important now. Now, let's see what Cassandra has to say. Let's go. I'm, I'm deriving so much joy from this. I still don't even know what the hell I'm gonna say. Come in. I have a proposition. <laughs> ah, something tells me that is not what happened. What did she even say though? I have a proposition. I'm going to need biatch. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that is so awful! <laughs> Woo! That is so awful! I kinda love it though, but yeah, that's obviously not what's happening. You know she ain't gonna be in the next chapter. Of my life. <laughs> right, all right. <sighs> Come in. Do you, uh, what's this up? Uh, you first. Okay, we're talking on top of each other. No, you. Ask, asking if you wanted anything to drink. <laughs> From you? Yeah, no thanks. Look, Kurt, I get it, I'll say it. I fucked you over big time. But can we just have a conversation? Please? It's been a long fucking week for me. Today alone I've been through a lot. Oh, dick. You done? No. But you know what? You start first. Because I really am curious to know what the hell this is all about. If you're going to give me some fucking sap story about how you want me back, I might actually have to punch you in the face. D don't, don't give me that. I've known you for a long time. I know that look. You're almost there. I swallowed it and spit it out. Can't finish Hunter. I knew it! I fucking knew it! Please, I really, really need your help. Well? Alright, I'll help. Seriously? Fuck no! Cassandra, please tell me why. Why I should bother at all to help you. Because you owe me! No, we, we paid that for three years. Holy fucking shit, you are so delusional. How the fuck am I the one who owes you? I, If I recall, you fucked me over getting me drunk and signing that fucking contract. And now we're even. <laughs> wow. 
after hearing you straight up lie on that TV show. That wasn't all a lie. Cassandra, I'm about 60 seconds from ragging your ass over to a psych ward. Kurt, you motherfucker, that wasn't a fucking lie. Me and you worked on that fucking code for years. Years. Then you go and build that fucking dog with Kindra? That was our work. Something we worked together on. Is that what this is about? Yeah, it was our work, and you know how the code worked. There's no reason you couldn't have done the same exact project then. I honestly thought you had a far better excuse. SHUT UP! SHUT UP! Listen to what the fuck I'm saying. It was ours. I try to put it behind me. I try to do the right thing and just leave it in the past and forget about it. Then you have to run your fucking mouth at that last meeting with that TW Robotics. Going on and on about how well you did building a dog. Meanwhile I looked at the fucking fool having to explain that and get to complete mine. And I wouldn't dare say it was because I got emotional about what you did. Those two fucking misogynistic assholes who would would boot me just as I've got my foot in the door. Damn, that's a lot of words. Those two fucking misogynistic ass also would boot me just as I got my foot in the door. Okay. And yes, ten fucking years later and the anger I still feel just thinking about it. She is a petty bitch. She is she really saying that she we cheated on her with Kendra? By giving, making her part of the, making, uh, giving her the code? Is that the kind of reasoning she's doing here? Try to do the right thing by leaving it in the past? Cass, the right thing would have been to talk to me about it. I mean, fuck, up to the point we, with the contracts we were together for, what, 11 years? You'd think you can talk to me about anything. No, 11. We met in 8th grade and got serious over summer break. No, we met at the end of 8th grade and got together at the start of high school. What does it fucking matter anyways? Look, Cassandra, I don't know what you want me to do. How you think this was going to play out. You betrayed me hard. And I want to start over, Kurt. I'm sorry for tricking you into that contract that signed over Hunter to me and leaving you how I did. I will make it up to you however you want. Just please help me this one time. Please, Kurt. I can't. Kurt, please. Cassandra, I won't. Whoa, what the? That was a very wrong intonation. You have to understand that I just can't. I came here for one thing and I feel like I've achieved that. I used to be scared of you, now I'm just sick of seeing you and want to get out of here. I got things I'm working on that I need to get back to. Please don't do this to me. Can we just start over? A clean slate between us? Dude, no. Here's the thing, if someone has wronged you, they don't, it doesn't matter to what degree or to what level, if they are the one who wronged you, they don't get to ask for a clean slate. You can offer it, but they don't get to decide or ask for it. If you are upset and angry about it, they have nothing to say about that. Do not give them any kind of power. Because they will use it and abuse it and then abuse you. Ha, hmm. I am very curious about the scorched earth uh, uh, technique here. Because that means we are burning down everything so that no one can use it. That's what scorched earth is. We are destroying the earth so no one else can use the earth. 
like uh, salting a farm, uh, an acre, oh, so you can't grow food there. I kind of like it. And being vindictive towards Cassandra would be good. As long as we're not destroying her property. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? After tricking me, taking everything from me, quite literally fucking me over, you really believe that I'm just going to agree to this very insane idea of a clean slate? You're fully aware of what you did to me, and yet you still think we're just gonna start over. You'll throw all that under the rug. This is what I'm talking about. This is good. No. No! You lured me into a pit and you took the fucking ladder, Cassandra. And for three fucking years I've been climbing myself out. Good, please. I'm begging you right now. I really need help right now. Name your price and I will do anything. <laughs> wow. It's like you didn't hear a fucking word I just said. Everyone warned me to dump you, but I stood by you, blindly defending you. I even defended you against my mom. God. Fuck you, Cassandra. Go to fucking hell and rot there. You'll be doing the world a favor. <laughs> you walk away and I'll press charge against your little girlfriend for assaulting me at that clothing shop. That's right. I won't let that slide unless you agree to help. I would sue Kendra for everything. Keep you her name. Really? Are we doing a Chris Rock reference here? Or I really hope that this game is older than that. But it does feel like that. It's uh, it's from the same thing. Keep her name out of your fucking mouth. But you know what? I fucking hope. Uh, I fucking hope you sue her. Oh, I actually hope you do. I'm betting Kindra has a Game Shark level resources to counter Sue and win a thousand times over. Then after, I'll take your ass to court and sue you for whatever scraps Kindra leaves you with. And celebrate with a fucking mega pint of wine. Pint. Because guess what? I have uh, not had a single ounce of alcohol since you left me in that apartment all those years ago. So what better way to celebrate? I wasted enough time here. I'm out. Please don't leave. She's so fucking sad right now. Had it been anyone else, this would have actually felt believable, but now she just feels pathetic. I'm not even convinced that she actually means it. I don't think I think she's putting on our front here in order to you know, trick us. Please. So I would actually have enjoyed if we could have chosen, got, got the choice whether we're going to help her or not. And then in the end she's going to fuck us over regardless. That would have been very painful. But that would uh, imply that uh, this game would have a bad ending. It's not impossible in these games. We've seen it in Chasing Sunsets for, for example. But it would make this game much, much bigger. Uh, larger in uh, terms of uh, gameplay. I will do anything and everything to make it right. Please, just help me. Ah! <laughs> we do get it. Okay, let's see. Alright. <laughs> Fuck off! He shows this, not me. I have nothing else to say to you. Garrett! Oh, I'm so curious about what's going to happen though. But under one condition. Just before you fucked me over, you literally fucked me. Unbelievable. Anything and everything, those were your words. We're going to hate fucker? No, 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 no. Uh, fuck off. Mm -mm. Cards. <laughs> oh, I have never been so happy about someone being sad in my life. I don't like being antagonistic. But fuck her. Dude, there is uh, joy in my heart right now. Cards. 
God damn you! Soon. Kinra. Thank you, Claire. And we're back home. Mm. Yeah, I, I didn't really see it uh, before, but you did tell Paige that he got matching tattoos on his sleeves because one of them represents a tattoo his mom was going to get. And I like that. I'm not sure if I liked the idea of you and your mom getting full sleeves, however. I mean, that's completely up to you, the two of you. But uh, that's uh, that's a very big commitment between uh, for, for a parent to get a full sleeve. Cast turned into a completely different person. Never seen her so desperate and completely delusional when she used to be so calm, calculating. I thought I've, I'd have, I thought I'd have immediate relief after. Maybe I could talk to DK about it sometime next week. Have her evaluate me, maybe. What am I saying? I confronted Cassandra, spoke my mind, and just left her. All that matters now is just finally focusing on the best life I can live from this point on. Speak on DK. That was the first time seeing her calm composure break like that when I saw her on the other day. I'm sure there are ethical rules or whatever bullshit that uh, would say I'm crossing a line trying to befriend my therapist. But does it only relate to sexual relationships? No, I believe it re uh, is regardless. Because you need to keep a distance between you because it can uh, evolve into anything really so you need to keep distance between you and your therapist and also that is kind of what you need as a patient you need someone from the outside telling you how to behave in a sense a friend is going to tell you what you want to hear uh, someone from the outside is going to tell you what is what you need to hear kind of yeah, there's uh, some overlap, of course, but generally speaking, whatever. DK did just m did the most unselfish thing and got me back on my feet, all without asking anything in return. Fuck it. There's no harm in just checking on her. There's no harm in just checking on her. I'll give her some time and try reaching her sometime next week. Crap! Hey, guy, what time is it? 4.25 p.m. I better shower and get ready to meet with Zelda. Yeah, you got an hour on you. And they have prepped the, uh, the place for uh, the Halloween party. Love it. Whoa. No expense spared. They really go all out with parties, it seems. I wonder what movie she picked. She wanted me to text her when I got here. Guess she didn't want to be embarrassed again. Hey Zelda, I'm at the door. Heading down now. Ooh! Thought <laughs> like we were seeing a movie. You look great. If he's making a stupid face while being speechless, that's good enough. Fuck that, that's stupid. Uh -uh. Don't, I don't like that joke. I always imagine you wearing something more posh. But this looks amazing on you. Oh, you believe so? 
So and Dominic talked me into it. I was against it. For what it's worth, you would look great in anything you choose tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt. The Exorcist and Rosemary, or is it the Exorcist Rosemary? Your hair is different, isn't it? It is! Dominic did my hair for my Halloween costume. Looks great, I like it. I hope you keep it that way. I will take that into consideration. Thank you for the compliment, Kurt. So, compliment or flirt at least 10 times throughout book 1. Oh! How about now? So, which movie are we, are we catching? Oh, one minute. Ah, oh, shit. It says Artemis, and it's that barcode again. I did try to figure out what that code means, but my phone can't scan it. I think the dots are too small. Uh, is it just a random uh, generator, or does it actually mean anything? Let me know. Because I haven't been able to figure it out. <laughs> well, don't be mad when I call you in the middle of the night screaming for you to come save me. Oh, stop. Is that... No. Don't you fucking dare. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. No. I wonder what what that code is though. Hmm. Something for another time, I guess. She Dragon Spire. Oh hey, Dragon Spire? I think it's she. Ooh, the Dragon Spire. There we go. The Dragon Spire. Is that a, another AVN? You've seen this one? Not yet. I honestly wouldn't have pinned you as a movie buff. <laughs> Theater experiences are very exciting, especially when the audience is full of passionate fans. This one is next on my what on my to watch list. Let me know when you do. I'll join you. Of course. Ouch, that line. What do you think? Should we just head to the showing? What's a theater experience without theater popcorn? Besides, seats are reserved and there are only generally 10 minutes worth of movie trailers before the movie begins. Yeah, that is true. It really shouldn't show up at the, as the movie is starting. You can always wait a few mi minutes. Both very valid points, Miss Zelda. You'd make a fine lawyer with arguments like those. <laughs> A buttery popcorn, drinks, pretzel, and pizza. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? Nothing. Oh, she's being cute. Hey, so what was the last movie you saw at the theater? <laughs> it's been a long while, I can't even remember. Well, I hope you enjoy this outing, then. I think it was Awesome Dude who said that I have... I am possibly not on Kindra's path because we didn't get a... Uh, stargazing moment while camping. So I am wondering if I am actually on the Zelda line here. Because I don't necessarily feel... Shit, there's something itching on my face. I don't necessarily feel that we have chosen to ignore Kinra yet. So far, we are on 
uh, e equal playing fields for Zelda and Kindra. But I don't know. PSM could be wrong on that. So yeah. You're being great company, Zelda. Glad you answered my call and hung out with uh, with me a couple of weeks ago. And I am glad as well. You've been a far more well behaved than the last guy we tried to welcome in our circle. Am I better looking too? <laughs> She's blushing. <laughs> uh, that's the first color on her, actually. Oh, look, we're next. What can I get you to? I would like a cola and a large paw. Hey, one more thing. Can I get a freezy too? Uh. So you already made an order. Please go to the back if you want to purchase an additional item. Seriously, I was just here and I'll take just two minutes. Just let him, it's not worth the trouble. Sir, please back of the line. Look guy, the time we spent arguing you could have rang me up, so let's just do this. You're killing the vibe man, just get in the line, yeah? Look man, what size of freezer you want? I'll just buy it for you if it shuts you up. You're annoying the hell out of me! We are protecting Zelda and some other dude is uh, kicking his ass. That's it, buddy. Sleepy time. Kato. Kato, 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 Kato. Oh, thanks. Everybody gets one. Dude, you're not Spider-Man. Fuck off. <laughs> that uh, was probably unnecessary, but I apologize for that. about that. Here are your items, free of charge. Was there anything else? I think we're set. Thank you. Man, who was that guy? You're blushing. You're blushing. Should I go get his number for you? <laughs> Please. <laughs> so yeah, what was the movie, last movie you guys saw? The last movie I saw must have been was it Oppenheimer? Uh, here we a few couple about a month ago or two, uh, the cinemas here were doing a Oscar nominee kind of sales, and so uh, there was a bunch of movies that went for a half price. So I I had a friend come watch it with me. We watched it for three hours, you know, the length of the movie. We were kind of beat afterwards, but yeah, it was a good movie though. <laughs> wow, you were right. Looks like it's just starting. Alright, I just want to say ahead of time, I'm sorry for any embarrassing reactions I may have. <laughs> Let's look this way if anything frightens you. Are we gonna scream in fear? Dude, that is a large popcorn, dude. That's fucking bigger than me. And I'm big. Ah, fucking hell! <laughs> hmm. Dude, that is not the time to do that. <laughs> okay, it was it was a good joke. She she's good. She's fine. I I like it. <laughs> she is your fucking hell. She's babysitting me. Oh no, man, no. <laughs> That's right, demon girl. Fucking knew that she was coming. You can't scare me twice. <laughs> Dude, the popcorn actually filled up. Let's see here. Yeah, the popcorn filled up. 
And now they're empty again. Ah! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, that was such a long time that I laughed so hard that I actually cried. Oh, man. Oh, we're still pouting. Oh, my God. Okay, carrots. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Come on, I have a treat for you. Are we actually upset? Are you a fucking baby? He is a kind of a man, baby. Uh oh. I wasn't sure how fancy you liked your hot cocos. I went with traditional. When in doubt, stick to the classics. Thank you, carrots. Mmm, delightful. <laughs> and with those fangs, she is now actually a walrus. What's wrong? Mustache isn't a bad look for you. Oh. Mm, yum. It'd be funny if I didn't tell you. <laughs> Thank you again for joining me tonight uh, to the movie. It was uh, entertaining, and glad I also entertained you alongside the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Eh, it's fine. Kind of funny thinking back on it now. Just glad the asshole at the concession stand didn't ruin the evening. Yes, and thank you for shielding me. Starting to wonder though. It's pretty sus uh, that. Uh, that would make it twice now where we're involved in some sort of physical altercation with someone. They wouldn't happen to be uh, vampire hunters. It all makes sense now. Why Halloween is your favorite holiday? Is that there one period of the year where you can walk freely among us in your true form? I'm on to you, Zelda. <laughs> Goodness. Perhaps they were hunters, perhaps not. We shall never know at this point. Next one I'm capturing and we'll find out once and for all. But seriously, are there any daytime activities you enjoy? With the sorority so close to the beach, I'm almost sure that's someplace we enjoy going to. Yes and no. I'm not sure if I share this or not, but June has made me a special cream that is much like it's much like sunblock, but provides better protection for my skin tone. It has allowed me to be in the sun for longer periods, and most importantly, less likely to burn. She's still working on it though, but I'm grateful either way, because I'm able to enjoy at least a few hours of direct sunshine in a bikini. It's truly remarkable how much of a difference that it's that is for me prior to meeting June. Albeit my other issue being how self-conscious I feel revealing so much skin, especially being near Naomi and Zoe who have such beautiful skin. I'm really sorry, Zelda. Oh, please don't be, Kurt. It's natural for one to feel this way sometimes, but I still love who I am. Sorry, I, I meant at the night of the sorority haze. Aside from some dude barging in while you were nude, why, why you were so on, so on the defensive hits a little different now. Oh, it's fine, and you had no idea as it is. Up until then, you were you were blindfolded and we had not been properly introduced. I am surprised you never brought you around sooner. She tried, I just, uh, I don't know, was a much, I was in a much different place mentally when she joined. <laughs> and Yoon is always trying to play, matchma play matchmaker with me, so more of a reason for me to say no thank you whenever she tried to get me to visit her here, her there. 
not trying to say that I'm some amazing catch. As I said, I just was in a much different place mentally then. She has embellished you quite a lot recently. I was generally surprised when she said you're single. Sorry, that sounded far less bad in my head. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm sorry, I, uh, that just came out not how I intended. A law student slipping on their words, huh? Don't sweat it, Zelda. I'm no stranger to cringe responses myself. But uh, it's not that I'm choosing to be single. It's just hard for me to really develop a serious relationship, you know? Cassandra Reese. She was my high school sweetheart and uh, up to three years ago we were in a very serious relationship. Until she suddenly decided I no longer mattered in her life. Betraying my trust in the most fucked up way. Ever since, it's been difficult to want to invest in another relationship. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks. So yeah, damage goods right here. <laughs> Please don't say that about yourself, Kurt. You got a wonderful person out and I'm rooting for you to come out on top. Thanks, Zelda. I am trying, that's for sure. I um, finally decided to confront her, speak my mind and just... Basically, I let her say what she wanted to say, then I said what I wanted to say until I had nothing further to say. Just let it flush out of me. This all happened yesterday and I still don't even know for certain how I really feel. I wish I could respond with something less cliché, though really only time will tell. What's important is that you made a choice to do something and followed up on that choice. And now here you are, socializing and enjoying your evening. Thanks, Zelda. Tonight was certainly a treat and I'm grateful for you for your company. Just hope you don't have nightmares tonight. If I do, you'll know. I'll be sure you suffer alongside me with me uh, with a panic call at 3 a.m. <laughs> Alright, let's get you back home. Very well. Thank you for the pleasant evening, Kurt. I enjoy our conversations. Yeah, me too. You'll be here tomorrow night? The Halloween party? Oh yeah, I'm pumped for it. Great. Be sure to stop by my booth. You have a booth? How are we going to tease her? I'm going to walk her to the door, but what do we do with teasing? And want me to walk to the door and need me to make sure no more vampire hunters are waiting to ambush you. Yes, please. So, throw in a joke. I, I don't like that joke. I make sure there aren't any more vampire hunters. Oh! Let's see here. She is doing the same joke here, so what does it actually say? Yes, please. Safe and sound, much thanks to you. What? Good night, so I'll see you tomorrow. The, I, was there actually a difference? Need to make sure no more vampire hunters are waiting to ambush you. I'll make sure there aren't any more vampire hunter ambushes on your way to the door. It's the same yoke. And you're actually doing a yoke. I fail to see the difference here. Am, am, am I an idiot? I, I don't know. Safe and sound. Much thanks to you. <laughs> Good night, Zelda. See you tomorrow. Good night, Kurt. Um, sorry, that pause felt awkward, so I reacted with that. 
Okay, good night. Um, good night. <laughs> yeah. She is red in her face and her nose is red. She has been crying and drinking all night. Good for her. Good for us that she is breaking down. But yeah. That is it for today's episode. We have been on a... I would say proper date with uh, Zelda. And yeah. And we he also told Cassie to fuck off. Good. Good, good, good. I like this development. This is good shit. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you Joseph for donating directly to my coffee page. If you want to see my gameplay uncensored. You can do so over at spicygaming.net. I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember. Just because you're not the main character. It does not mean you're not important. Goodbye everyone.